what is up guys this is Kiran here welcome back to tech Kiran YouTube channel you can see this is cesium OS latest version which is based on Android version R you can see Android version 11 right now I have installed it on my Redmi Note 8 as a GSI and you can install this build on any of your device which has a project travel compatibility if you don't know what is project travel and if your device is compatible or not you can easily check it out on the internet by going to Google search for it and you will easily see that this is CZMOS latest hashtag get active you can see under version 11 redmi note 8 gingo the CZMOS version is v3.0 beta with the october security patch and almost everything works fine right now has a little bit of bugs but yes don't ask from me about the bugs because it depends upon the vendor which vendor you have used if you use better vendor which has less bugs you might face less bugs in your gsi also and if you have a vendor with much bugs more bugs you will face some bugs in this gsi so let's get started guys i'm using this from some time i didn't face any major bug yet but maybe major and minor depends upon the preferences things which i use in my regular day-to-day -day usage are some major bugs for me if i get some and the things which i don't use much that's where those are some minor bugs for me so it depends upon which the things you use in your device that depends upon that i use wi-fi this is perfectly fine here so i i don't need anything regarding that bluetooth i sometimes use and i sometimes don't use but in my case in my redmi note 8 bluetooth is not turning on at all so this might be the major bug for some users and for some users it might not be for me it's not the major bug because i don't use bluetooth at all i use wi-fi which is perfectly fine here and if i go for the hotspot i have never tried that and as you can see hotspot is working fine here which means wi-fi hotspot both are working here so no issues i use mobile data also that was also working fine here so a little bit of things which i use in my daily life are probably working fine so I have no issues you can see the CZMOS wallpaper and by default the icons are already themed you can see the camera icon contacts icon these are the things which are already themed this is the thing about the CZM OS latest version if you hold down you have the option of home settings widgets and styles and wallpapers if you go for the styles and wallpaper you will see this kind of UI where you have the on device wallpapers you will see on device wallpaper like CZM OS but if you see this you will not be able to open this so it's a GSI so you might face these kind of things as expected so if you want to try it out go for it and try right now the best part is styles and wallpapers are perfectly fine here I'm using styles and I'm using my custom style which is working this is amazing from my side of view from my point of view you can also create your own custom styles if you want to we have the great customizations and including that the clock customizations too which looks really impressive so things are perfectly fine right now in my case and if you want to install this on a device i'm not going to show the tutorial that how you can install that because gsi always has to be tried you just need a vendor for that perfectly working vendor make sure compatible vendor and after that you can install this system image reboot and everything is done if your vendor is compatible you'll be able to boot the gsa and if your vendor is not compatible then i'm not sure about that you can use any android 11 based room vendor also any android 10 aosp based vendor or you can use any other vendor if you want to i'm not saying about anything about to your device if you go for the gcam the best part is gcam is fine here i'm using the gcam 7.3 by parrot right now in my case gcam 7.3 is working fine here portrait mode camera mode almost everything works fine so these are also no issues at all so the things the major things are fine here i think it's a very cool kind of reason to install this build right now on your device if you go for other devices if you go for other things uh, actually i'm using it from some time let me show you a little bit of things about this okay if i go here and here go to the settings option unfortunately my device is not certified at all so maybe i'll get some issues while using banking apps but for the kind of information we have some fixes for that if you're using a gsi you can fix this play protect certification option i'm not sure about that but i have just saw that option right there i try and i'll try to make a video very very soon that how you can certify your device in a gsi so that it might be helpful for you right now unfortunately our safety net is not passed at all if i try to run the safety net test it's not getting passed as you can see safety net compatibility test is failed unfortunately so it might be the issue for you also if you want to use the banking apps i don't use them so i don't need them at all 
Go for the settings. We have the PHS trouble settings as you already know it's a GSI. Network and internet connected devices have no issues. We have the radio active tweaks options available. It does not come with many customizations by the way, but it has little bit of things as we are expecting that. Battery options has only battery percentage option available. The battery backup is also good and you can also adjust the thermal profiles. Adjust per app thermal profiles for optimum performance looks kind of really interesting. We have the display options where you can see the styles and wallpapers as expected but other things are kind of the same. Sound, storage, privacy have no issues and the best part is in the CSA the fingerprint face lock both are working very fine. So I'm using fingerprint, I'm using face lock both are fine here so I have no issues here at all. These are also perfect things. Digital well-being, parental controls, Google languages, gestures and these are the things you get here. Almost every Android 11 feature is out there. You can use that if you want to. These were the things I just wanted to share with you. I hope you like it. This was all from today's video. Thanks for watching. The link for this build is in the description. You can go and install that. Goodbye. Have a nice day.